you, everybody. Thank you. Whoa. Well, I want to thank everybody. This is a fantastic state. This is a great, great state. You know, we won New Hampshire three times now. Three. Three. We win it every time. We win the primary. We win the generals. We've won it. And it's a very, very special place to me. It's very important. If you remember, in 2016, we came here and we needed that win. And we won by 21 points. And it was great. And uh, today, I have to tell you, it was very interesting because I said, wow, what a great victory. But then somebody ran up to the stage all dressed up nicely <laughs> when it was at 7. But now I just walked up and it's at 14. <laughs> but, but she ran up when it was 7. And, you know, we have to do what's good for our party. And she was up and I said, wow, she's doing uh, like a speech like she won. She didn't win. She lost. And, you know, last, last week we had a little bit of a problem. And if you remember, Ron was very upset because she ran up and she pretended she won Iowa. <laughs> and I looked around. I said, didn't she come in third? Yeah, she came in third. And then I looked at the polls. She was talking about most winnability, who's going to win. And I had one put up. I don't know if you see it, but I have one put up. We've won almost every single poll in the last three months against Crooked Joe Biden. Almost every poll. And she doesn't win those polls. And she doesn't win those. This is not your typical victory speech, but let's not have somebody take a victory when she had a very bad night. She had a very bad night. A couple uh, quick fact checks here. Uh, the former president uh, said that he's won every single New Hampshire election he's been in, which is not true, uh, including general elections. He also said Nikki Haley doesn't beat Joe Biden in the polls. That, that is also not true. Nikki Haley has, has beaten uh, the president in, in several polls. Um, I want to go to Tara right now. Tara, uh, you know, Vivek was just talking about the ugly side of politics. We were having a conversation talking about the viciousness and how bad it'll get. When will it start? Um, the former president took the stage, and he pretty much the only thing he talked about was Nikki Haley attacking her over and over again. And I got to tell you, what stood out to me is Senator Tim Scott in the background, an elected senator from the state of South Carolina who was appointed by Nikki Haley, mm -hmm. sort of just smiling and going along with this. Um, is, is this what we can expect over the next month before South Carolina? Absolutely. And I mean, South Carolina has been an ugly place for politics and Republican politics before yep. Donald Trump. So imagine what's going to happen between now and then. Um, the fact that that Senator Tim Scott was there and just perfectly OK with the viciousness, I, again, speaks to the lack of character that, de that Senator Scott has demonstrated during this time of Donald Trump. And it's very disappointing. Um, he was asked very directly whether he was comfortable with Donald Trump's tone and he couldn't he, he made excuses for it, uh, including Donald Donald Trump saying that January 6th uh, prisoners uh, who are convicted are hostages. He was OK with that, too. So I'm not surprised that Senator Scott continues to debase himself. And for Vivek Ramaswamy to say anything about that, this is a guy who went after Nikki Haley's teenage daughter. So he has he has continued to lower the bar here uh, when it comes to any type of, of integrity as well. So but this is par for the course. Yeah. This is what the Trump campaign represents. And this is what we are up against going into the general election. It's never going to change. Yeah. And anyone who thinks otherwise is um, it's living in a fantasy here. This oh, is what it is. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.